What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at the angles inside of a triangle. Let's go. So there's one very important rule to understand when we are measuring angles inside of a triangle, and that is that all of the angles, so we have one, two, three, when we add them together, we will always get the same magic number. And let's check what that number is. If I have 60 plus 60 plus 60, I will equal 180 degrees. And that is the same for every single triangle. Let's understand why that is. This angle in front of us is what we call an equilateral triangle. It means that the sides and the angles are all the same measurement. So this could be five centimeters, for example, and it means that the angles here are all 60 degrees. But what happens if I squash this triangle down from the top? Imagine I've got a big weight and I'm pushing down on the top of this triangle. We can see it's gone a bit fatter, but a bit thinner on the sides. Well, what happens? These two angles close and get a bit smaller, so maybe they're now like 40 degrees. But as we can see in the top one, the top one opens. So as one angle closes, the other opens. And I can work out the answer to this top angle, let's call it A, by just simply understanding that if these two angles are 40 and my total has to be 180, if I have 180 and I subtract my two 40s, one, two, which is 80, I'm going to be left with 100. That means I know that this angle A must equal 100 degrees. Let's look at another triangle. If I have this triangle here, we call this triangle a right angle triangle. I can see that I have a right angle here of 90 degrees, and I've been told that this angle is 70 degrees. What is this missing angle? Well, if I have 90 and I add it to my 70, I will get 160. But we know the total must be 180, so if I have my 180, I subtract my 160, what am I left with? I have an angle of 20 degrees. So this question mark must equal 20 degrees. And I know that because of the secret special rule that all three angles inside of a triangle always equal 180 degrees. And that will never change. Let's have a look at this red chili challenge. This time we have some more complicated numbers. I have 60 degrees, 45 degrees, and I'm missing degrees. Well, let's add our 60 to our 45, and I get 105. And we know that the total must be 180. So if I get my 180 and I subtract 105, I am left with 75 degrees. So I know that this missing angle must be 75 degrees. Simple. Here's one for you. Remember, all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. What is this missing angle? I have one angle at 92 degrees, one angle at 35, and a measurement across the bottom of 20 centimeters. What is this missing angle? Put your answers in the comment section. Good luck. And there you go. That is understanding the angles within a triangle. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos that are going to help you with everything you need to know about maths. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.